David here, and this is a desktop background that I made in Keynote for a grade five class to help those students remember four different categories of digital citizenship that we're currently teaching. All right, this, I say, this is the example, it's finished. Uh, we can take a look at this amazing background there. Happy days. And the idea came from a grade five team. They asked me to cover these four different elements of digital citizenship, which is social media, citations, cyberbullying, and screen time. Let me take you through the workflow for this. First of all, I'm going to create a brand new slide in Keynote, and I'm gonna get rid of those text boxes. Then I'm going to change the size. Now, this will depend on the computer that you're using. Uh, for me, it's a new MacBook Pro and to get the screen resolution so that we make sure that it fills the background, we do need to click on that little Apple icon, select about this Mac, and then go to displays. And we can see here, this is what we want, these two numbers, the three, four, five, six, and the two, two, three, four. What we're gonna do with those two numbers is head over to the right-hand side in Keynote, uh, select document, and then where it says slide size, just click the drop-down arrow there, go to custom, and then it's three, four, five, six, and two, two, three, four. Boom, happy days, that's the correct size. Then what I'll do is just give this a quick file name here. So I'll put in a digital citizenship background, like so. And then I'll give it a background color. Now I'm colorblind, so I had to grab these colors online. And to do that, I'm just gonna head to format. I'll show you where the colors are saved, format, and then where it says background, select this color wheel. And you can see down here, these are the five colors that I've added. So let's put that one in here. In fact, let's just close this. Don't need that anymore. And the first step for me here was actually adding the title, which is at the bottom for my background. So it's this digital citizen over here, because I'm going to change that size, make it a lot bigger. And I selected this one I downloaded called Grow Bold or Grow Bold. And then I think it's about 330 or something like that. Okay. And um, we'll change the color as well here. So just over for, go over to format, text, and then select text color. And for that one, it's something I grab from that color palette. I'm going to put a larger gap in between those letters. And to do that uh, in this format panel, select the settings wheel, and then just change the character spacing to something you're happy with. Okay, so it's gonna take a most of the bottom there, digital citizen, happy days. I'm gonna get it in the center. I'm just dragging it across there until I get that preview line that shows me that that text is in the center. Next up, I wanna add in the a shape for each category of digital citizenship. And I'm gonna use these shapes here and I wanna put them evenly around the place here. I want to change the color background of uh, the background color of each of these shapes. And again, I'm gonna use the color scheme that I downloaded earlier on. And so to change the color of a background shape, just select it, go to format, and then select style. And then from here, you can change those colors. And also for each one, I would also like to change the uh, border color. I've just selected them all, holding down shift and then clicking in each one, and then select the border line. And I'm gonna select a different style Let's go for this one here, the crayon style, and then increase the size a little bit too. And then once that's done, the next step for me will be to add in the titles. I'm going to use the same font type that I've used here. Um, so I can yeah, type in a new text box or add a new text box in. Okay, and this top one is going to be social media. And then before we type, put in the rest, I just want to play around with the size and the settings and whatnot. I would like to add an outline. Uh, to do the outline, I'm still in the text control panel here. Go to the little settings wheel and then select outline. Okay, and then we can change that color. I'm going to use the color of this background here. So that's in the outline, color wheel, background, like so. And then what we can do, we can take that, copy and paste it, put it below and then change it to the appropriate title for that. For that one is cyberbullying. Now that I've got my titles in, the next thing that I need to do is to put in images that I think are relevant. 
Now for that, what I'm going to use is flat icon. And when I'm searching for images to use in this desktop background, I'm gonna type in keywords that I'm associating with the message I'm trying to communicate. So for cyberbullying, I selected friendly. And then when I'm downloading each icon, there's a couple of things I need just to bear in mind is take some time like researching for it, looking for the, the one that really resonates, really speaks to you and communicates the message for this one, the cyberbullying, and then click download PNG. And we want to copy uh, two things actually. We want to copy and paste this uh, attribution. We're going to put it in our slide notes and we want to download it as well, of course. Okay, so I've already downloaded it, but if you want to see the process for that, just click download and it will give you a file name. Um, but I'm going to change that to friendship and then two because I've already got one. And just click save. And then in the meantime, as well, the where we're going to put the attribution for that is in the slide notes. And to find the slide notes, let's go to view, yeah, show presenter notes, and then we can put in here um, friendship and then paste in the reference and just repeat that process for all of the flat icons that you're going to use if you're using flat icon. And we can now put that picture in. So I'm going to go to finder, downloads, and then drag that one in. And now for these, I'm going to put each image in the bottom or depending on where these, like this one, this category here, the image will be at the bottom. This one will be in the top left, this one top right, and then this one bottom right. I also want to make sure that I'm using the same file or the uh, picture size as well. So the select this little picture here and then go to arrange and just take a note of the size. I think we'll try 300 for now and we'll see if that works for all of them. So let's just grab those other images. The next part is for you to add in two or three things. That could be words, could be phrases that help you remember the importance of each of these categories. And after you've done that, you can export it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then type those in for now. And that is it. That is my final desktop background. Almost finished, we just need to export it. It's an image so that we can use it as a desktop background. To do that, just head up to File, select Export To, and then select Images. And then you've only got one slide, but you can select this one if you want. The format is going to be high quality. I definitely recommend that. Select next, Digital Citizenship Background V1. I have a whole bunch of these, and we'll call it V1. And we're going to put it into Documents, Export. And what Keynote does is just creates an image file based on your Keynote slide. And then the final thing we need to do is go to the System Preferences, which you can find from clicking on the Apple icon, System Preferences, and then Desktop and Screensaver. We're going to add that in. And this is the one I just added. So it's digital citizenship background V1. And it gives you a little preview of what it's gonna look like. So select choose, and we can check that just by pressing command and F3. And there we go, happy days. And that is how to create your very own desktop background using Keynote. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.